Welcome to Love Vibe TV. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited to share with you in this video how you know your manifestation is coming. And you may be having these questions after asking for something that's like, oh, well, I've been asking for it. Where is it? Like, why isn't this happening? Maybe you even know other people who are asking for a similar thing. If you're asking for love and you're like, oh, well, my friend found someone, my other friend found someone, and I still haven't found someone. Like that kind of energy that makes you doubt and wonder if maybe you can't have it. This video is going to show you really the key to, well, really the truth, but also the key to being in that space in a different way so that you don't sabotage your manifestation. So if we haven't met, my name is Macy Matarazzo, also known as the Reverend Lunch Lady. And I love creating videos for those of you who are seekers and unicorns in the world wanting to call in your special person or create an amazing business or be that artist or leader, whatever it is you want to create. I like to share with you consciousness tools that help you get there faster. So it really is so much about our energy and our consciousness and our mindset and the way that we relate to the world that is the secret to creating things in our life. So today's is a really fun topic because so many people are looking out at their life and they're seeing their world and they're saying, see I don't have that million dollar house or I don't have the car that I want or I don't have that boyfriend or I don't have whatever it is. And that is where we get kind of stuck because my favorite thing about creation is that it starts with our imagination. So when we know this, when we know that our imagination, that our inspiration. So our, the imagination is is what is wrapped into that inspiration and the desires. It's it's how you see the pictures. It's it's the ideas that come to you that sometimes feel so far out that it seems silly or like, oh, I'm just making it up. So many times it's easy to dismiss. But when you know that that is this channel to the divine to the universe to all the muses and the and the invisible space that is really more of what we are than the physical so the physical is essentially like 0.01% of what living in life in this universe is all about and yet we put so much value into that so even that, boom, right? Like whatever's coming up for you around that, like receive that the physical piece of our life is a very small portion. There's so much more beyond that, that when we start acknowledging and giving credit to the space beyond our mind, our body, our physical stuff, then a lot more is available to us. There's just so much more possibility. So one of the things I love to teach is that the awareness of the desire, the awareness of, wow, that dream, that imagination that's showing us, whoa, wouldn't it be amazing to live on a beach? Or wouldn't it be amazing to have a person who adores me and we share all the same values and we love traveling together and whatever the dream is, that that is the manifestation. So when you know that, what changes? What changes is that there's no conversation around, oh, it's not here. Like that whole concept is irrelevant at that point, because if 
the awareness of the desire of the dream and the like, yes, that comes with it. Like, oh, yes, I totally would love that. That is the manifestation. And I know for many of you, you're like, yeah, but no, it's not really. But it's, you know, I'm not waking up next to my beloved. And wait a second, uh, I don't have millions of dollars in my bank right now. How can you say that? I can say that because you are aware of the space, the reality where that exists. And the more you affirm for that and celebrate that and acknowledge that, then that's how things come into the physical form. It's just in a different form. So what's it going to take for us as beings to really value the invisible as much as we value the physical or even more, like really have reverence to the invisible. Wow, I have so much support in the universe. Today I was reading a portion of a book called The War of Art and we were talking about the muses and all of the in, in, invisible support that's out there. And that was so inspiring because how many times do we kind of think we're like sludging at this all by ourselves? We're doing it alone. And especially when I was single, I used to have this like idea that, oh, I'm alone. I'm all alone. And, and then it became this like sad, heavy story. And that's no fun. So if it's no fun, it's not true for you, <laughs> really. That's it. It's like, if it feels heavy and crappy, then it's really not you. It's a lie. It's not true for you. It's not meant for you. So then you go, oh, well, I don't know why I was like sludging through that like poop pile, but I'm going to step over here and go, okay, well, what do I know? And really tap into all of the desires you know and really treating them like they are, which they are, they're just in a different form. You have them. They, you have that. You have that desire. A pregnant woman, just because she's not strolling a baby in a baby carriage is not less like with baby. Like she has a baby and she's aware of it in her body, in her world, growing and that's there. Like, so you can treat everything like that. So everything is like that pregnancy. <laughs> Sometimes my metaphors, I know. Um, so it's like that. It really is. It's like you have a desire to create this piece of art or write this book or travel to these places. You have a desire to call in more money to do whatever it is you want to do, that is here. So you can begin to say, wow, I'm so excited. I have this, that I get to have this. I have this. I have this love relationship. I know it. I have it. I know it. I have it. I know it. I have it. It's here. It's mine. It's already done. It's already done. It's here. You wouldn't even be able to conceive of it if you weren't meant to have it. You wouldn't be able to. It just wouldn't have the energy. It's sort of the quality of energy. So for the, those of you out there that are like, well, I could imagine, you know, like, I don't know, chopping off the heads of a something. That sounds horrible. Um but I'm not going to do it. It's not, that's not who I am. Well, there are infinite numbers of possibilities out there. Yeah, you can maybe imagine that. And it probably doesn't have the energy. It probably doesn't have that energy of like, oh, to it. So that's, you know, you know what that lightness, that like enthusiasm, that bliss, that giddiness is. So if you notice that, then that is meant for you. And then you want to be pay attention. Like if you have 
habits of negativity or of disappointment, of sadness. This is going to be another video. So I'm going to do another video around how to get off the emotional roller coaster of recreational sadness. If you have those habits, then you, you want to start learning about yourself enough to know when you're just doing a habitual emotional thing that that may come in the way of a desire. So for example, you know, I'll have someone who will say, oh yeah, well, and it's with, with these certain cases, it's often a lot of conversation before we get to it, but it's like, okay, well, what is it? What would you love in a relationship? And some people may start with like, I just want a nice person. And it's like this very low level ask. It's not like the greatest possible dream because there's so many inner critics in the way. There's so many protections or, you know, habits of, well, I better not get my hopes up and that kind of stuff. So, so it does take having that real alignment with your heart and being willing to go there. It's really a choice to go like, what would I love the most? And if you want to start practicing, you can just start asking yourself in everyday things like, what do I love here? What do I love now? What do I love in this park? What do I love in my refrigerator right now? What would I love? And like, what colors do I like right now? Like, what am I drawn to? Like, start knowing yourself and that's going to be really helpful. So today's um, video is really about recognizing that your desires come in a lot of different forms. So there's no question about, oh, is it coming? Is it coming? If you're just looking at the 3D world right now, that's those are the things that you have consciously or unconsciously brought in from the past. So if you're aware of a, a new desire, it may take a minute for it to like come into the physical world, but don't value it less in the energetic world, in the invisible, because it's not less. It's here. It's done. It's available. So you can say, oh, wow, I'm so happy I have this love relationship. I'm so happy I have all this money in the bank. I'm so happy that I have a job that I love. So you can acknowledge it being here. And when you're acknowledging it, being here, then that is the exact thing that accelerates this whole process. And I know because I've done this so many different times. I did it with my beloved. I've done it with jobs. I've done it with money. I've done it with so many things. So you can too. So find that desire, celebrate it here now and speak to it like that. I'm so glad it's here. And watch what happens. I hope this was helpful. I know it was. Watching these videos helps you create even more in your life. Just know that. That's the that's the magic I put into these videos is that as you watch them and when you watch them again, you get more and more and more. And pretty soon you are just functioning from this place of being that amazing creator in your life, which you already are, but how much fun can you have accelerating it to the place where that you are creating the greatest possibility for your life. So there you go. So if you like this, like, subscribe, definitely share with your unicorn friends. I really appreciate that. So happy when you do that. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.